Oklahomans to carry guns without training or a license. Jessica Bruno joining us live from the state capitol. She's got the details for us here. There's new developments. Hey, Jess. Yeah, Lacey and Allie, that's right. Good morning. The bill's author is calling Governor Fallon out of step with Oklahomans, the Republican Party, and the Constitution. Uh, Senator Nathan Dom released a statement to us saying, quote, we've seen Governor Fallon use her veto pen to kill bills that would have brought transparency and accountability to government, reined in out-of-control agency rules, get parents more involved in education, restore our Second Am Amendment rights, return local control back to communities, secure parental rights and health care decisions, streamline and modernize state government, restore private property rights, changing the budgeting system for long-term planning and more. Now, this year's legislative session has already ended, as we all know, but Senator Dom is proposing that lawmakers go back to the Capitol to get the bill passed. So far, more than a dozen other lawmakers have signed on. A spokesperson for the governor's office tells us that if a certain number of legislators from both the House and the Senate agree to a special session, then they're free to do so, but it could cost taxpayers about $30,000 a day. So, guys, obviously, it's all up in the air right now.